Hey guys, it is nighttime. It's 7.20. I'm actually going to give you an update if our nighttime routine worked tonight. I think it went very smoothly up to this point. But this is the point where she wants to get out of bed. But she's had two melatonin. She's been in bed for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We've done everything else in the routine. Jason went up to tickle her back and get my phone because I'm leaving, which is what this video is about. So I'm gonna give you an update when he comes back down, if he does, if it's gonna work or not tonight. But I am not sure if I'm going to even film very much tonight. If I don't, then I, you won't ever see this. But I am going for a craft night at my girlfriend's house. We've done this, not on a regular basis, but it is like the same group of friends of mine. We all bring a craft project or a little something that we're working on or grocery list. I don't know. Whatever you want to bring. Chat. You know, have a snack, which I forgot to get a snack. So maybe I should leave now and go get a snack to take. So I might do that. And then um, we all just chat, hang out, eat, um, and work on our craft projects. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to make tonight. I'm going to try. The only reason why I'm going to film this is I'm going to ask my girlfriends, they don't want to be on camera, but I'm going to ask them if they're working on some really fun projects, I'm going to ask if I can just film what they're working on. Because not only do I get inspired by like what other people are doing, but I thought you might enjoy that as well. So getting ideas for what other people are enjoying as well, and they don't have channels, so you're never going to see what they're doing. So I thought that would be, might be kind of fun. Um, someone last time was making a blanket with you know, she was doing one of those like arm blankets or whatever with the yarn around her arm. Someone else could be like doing budgets or I don't know, just kind of fun things. So let me just show you, I'm just gonna do something simple because when I craft around other people, I tend to talk and get kind of distracted and I don't really work on the project as much as doing it the way I would really want to do it. So I don't do a ton of stuff when I go to these kinds of nights. But I have a little project that I want to do. I mean, it's something that my friend Mary at Mary Berry Boutique, she sent me these before Halloween and then I never got a chance to do them. And it's these little wood chip boards that she cut out and they're little arrows. So I've got my bucket of paint here and I've got some painter's tape and some sticky notes. I've got two kinds of painter's tape and all of my paints and paint brushes. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to paint these guys white or gray or both. And then I want to paint like little retro stripes on them to kind of match my decor. So like the white and the gray is the base, like my standard turquoise color that I like around the house. Um, and then yellows. I like those three colors the most. And they, if I do them like in stripes, it'll kind of be like, you know, 70s retro, which I kind of like that little vibe. But the white and the gray kind of keep it in the farmhouse feel as well. So that's what I want to work on tonight. But I have to make it very like easy to do and not, I don't have to have a a whole lot of thought process. I like to do painting stuff because I can do a layer, paint it really quick, and then I can let it dry and chat and have some food and a snack and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm also taking my notebooks to work on during the painting dry time. I've got two of my notebooks here. Now you guys know that this one here, the last like 10 pages of this notebook, I switched to this one right here during, at the beginning of January. So this is now my like this first list right here, I'll show you, is my declutter list. And I just keep extending the little stickers on it as I add things to my declutter list. Um, and then like this is my current like week, you know, or whatever month. And then this notebook here, now you guys know where we're going on vacation, we're going to Maui. So I just kind of look up ideas of places we want to go and restaurants we want to eat at and just I like to take notes and eventually I'll make packing lists and to-do lists. I'm not doing that yet. I am holding off but Jason's coming down so let's see how it's going up there. Okay so how's Ashley? She's doing really good. She did all of her screen time? Yeah. Just keep it quiet. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't want to rock the boat? Yeah. I need to make a list of everything I need to get done tonight and tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to go tonight going to Stacy's yeah girls night girls night you own the TV for the night oh thank you I know <laughs> no hang on I want to talk to you so I was my I was texting my friend I today I was texting my friend today and she we were kind of throwing out ideas of different Netflix um, shows to watch and she's just barely started watching Gilmore Girls 
I'm like, dude, you are my age. How did you not watch it back then, number one? Boy. And number two, how have you not ever seen it since then? Anyway, so we were talking about that. dialogue TV show ever. No, I'm just saying. Like, we, we watched it as teenagers, so I don't know. Anyway, I digress. But we were talking about how she doesn't get control of the TV, and suddenly Your the friend. husband, yeah, husband let her choose the shows that she wants to watch, so she has access to all these Netflix series for the first time. And I thought, you know what, I have a really good husband who likes yes. to watch TV in his man cave, and... I would Allow like me to, to watch control the TV, but I just gave up. You know what? There are series <laughs> on right now. We're at four episodes in, and you don't come down to watch them anymore. What's what series? Like New Amsterdam and This Is Us and a no. million little things. I know. Well, you keep going faster on me. I asked you the first two episodes. Would you like to watch them with me? Yeah, I don't know. I got, I don't All right. Know see, that. it's not me. It's you. It's us. <laughs> this is us, right? Okay, I'm gonna go because I forgot to take a snack. Oh, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Just grab a bag of chips or whatever's left over. <laughs> They're all carb free. Like all of them don't eat sugar and no, That's no what carbs. You, say. you say, like, oops, oh well, I guess more for me. I left all the everything out. <laughs> Because that's all that's left. If so you don't we need eat. a free range gluten, GMO free, you know, snack. Snack. <laughs> it it actually tastes like, <laughs> like human excrement. Yeah. So I'm pretty much going to go get myself a Coke. <laughs> you could bring them some uh, rice cakes. They probably won't eat that because that's. Those carbs? Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I it's fine. Know. I'm not making fun of them. I just, I don't I, know what to bring. I, I don't know what to bring for a snack. And so, ma so many of them that are coming have diet restrictions. Should, we should cut up some cardboard. We should put it in a little bag and put it. Yeah, this is, after looking at your diet restrictions, this is what I came <laughs> This is up the with. option I came and up with. And then just put it down. And, and I love all my friends. If they eventually yeah, see this video, people. they're good people. I just don't know what to bring. Because they're all eating really healthy. <laughs> Which we should probably do better of. But yeah. I'm going to go and get some dessert. You barely ate, oh, he ate dinner. He had leftovers. Okay, I'll go. If we, if we don't end up showing you what my friends made, I'll show you what I made at the end of the night, or I'll show you my progress, and then we'll just kind of go from there. finished um I didn't I knew I wouldn't get done with my project <laughs> and I actually two of the little tiles bled because it suddenly got really the paint got really wet and I didn't realize it till I'd already like you know sponged it on so I'll finish it tomorrow but that was just really fun it's just fun to like I'm waiting for my car to defrost because <laughs> I've anyway it's cold out here but I'm a hot body inside the car so I am ready to head home. Kind of wanting to like double check with Ch Jason to make sure that Ashley is asleep because <laughs> I don't really want to go home if she's part of it is that I'm her problem. She wants to spend time with me. She wants to brush my hair. She wants to be downstairs doing what I'm doing. So I'm hesitant to go home if she's not asleep yet because she wasn't at this time last night. So I'm going to call Jason and make sure she's asleep. And a lot of our conversation tonight um, revolved around taking time for ourselves as women, as moms, and that we, a lot of us, not all of us, but a lot of us have supportive husbands for that. It's interesting to have a conversation around the people who don't have husbands that are supportive of each other getting time to take care of themselves. Um, and what it does for you in your relationship and you as an individual. So that was really fun to like talk to some other women that I don't get a chance to talk to sometimes. There's two ladies that came that haven't ever come before to a little craft night and it was fun to chat, talk to them on a more personal level than I normally get a chance to like at church. And so it was just, she's like, oh, I didn't know that about you. That is so great, you know. Um, it was just a fun time. It was a good conversation. I think it is really important to take time for yourself. So much so that tomorrow night we're doing it again. Because <laughs> while this activity was already planned, 
are one of a friends that came to this craft night tonight and is one of my our original core group of crafters we used to scrapbook together every Friday night at another person's house oh, 12 years ago I think and that's where our kind of craft group began and so when she graduated from she got her her uh, bachelor's degree she went back to school as a full-time mom and just got her degree and we want to celebrate for her she's kind of didn't want all the attention on her if we were to get together and so someone else has offered to host a get-together a girls night out <laughs> to not celebrate her and not draw the attention to her but to create an activity to like have more women to get together but the timing of it worked out for the host because her husband's out of town tomorrow night she's like it's just so much easier when the husband's not around and it just happened to be tomorrow night so we're like all right see you tomorrow night <laughs> when we left tonight and everyone's like this is awesome we get two nights out in one week and um i think that's just it's okay it's okay to do that and jason supports me on that and i support him on going out with guys and having guys come over and watch a movie or he went out with his brother last week so you know give and take that's my take on the night if i do any more crafty stuff oh no what i'm gonna do is i'll finish this little banner of mine i'll show you me finishing it tomorrow if i get time and then i'll show you the end result and it up on my shelf so i'll show you that that's how we'll end this little craft video i will finish it and then we'll show you the end result so I'm not gonna probably get back on and say goodbye. So just enjoy this little clip of me working on that craft project and thanks for joining me for this little short clip. I just, you know, didn't really feel like filming anything today. We are buying a new car. I am selling this car. Jason and I have to, if it all works out, we have to take this car about an hour and a half away to meet someone who's buying it. And then we have to decide if we want my new car to be shipped or if Jason is going to fly down to go and get it and drive it back because it's about 700 miles away. <laughs> it's back in my hometown. It's my best friend and her husband who own a dealership so we're buying the car from them. So if that all works out then I will be in a new car soon. So I better stop filming because it's 1030 and dark outside and I'm driving. So take care you guys. Subscribe if you're new please you'll get notified if you click that little bell and then you can come back every day and see our videos and tomorrow's Costco day with Jason I never know what we're gonna get up to at Costco I'm babbling because I don't talk to adults during the day which is why I have a channel so I can talk to adults <laughs> during the day I'm glad I found this Avenue and be able to chat with you guys so chat back take care night